Well, we are making over your guy's closet today, and chances are you're going to have some things in your man's closet that Mila Grigg also finds when she's working with her male clients. Maybe <laughs> some things that are a little bit too old, right? Yes, too old, and they keep them because they say, well, they still fit, so I'm still looking good like I did in 1985, but <laughs> the style is a little out at this point, so time to update. All right, what are the main things that you find in a guy's closet that need to go? Shirts and pants. Okay. You know, we'll talk about the sock drawer, but shirts and pants are really, and it's not because uh, there's anything wrong with the shirt necessarily, it just doesn't fit. And mm -hmm. men think things fit because it buttons mm -hmm. here or it buttons here, and then you're buttoning at the waist, but then the pants billow out and it looks like you kind of are ballooning. <laughs> so they go, well, they fit here, but then you can't tell that there are two legs. Right. So fit is a big thing with the men, and knowing what fit means is more important than even what's current because most guys just don't have any idea. Right. About that. So that's why you need an image start. consultant, right? <laughs> yeah, that's All right, right. Let's talk about some of the things that you've pulled from a certain guy's closet. Yes. We're not going to say whose, of course. No. But polo shirts, a big offender. Well, they're a big offender, especially if you buy like the 100% cotton polo. I mm -hmm. mean, the first thing to go are the collars, and then you're starting to see the wear and tear. And then it kind of marbles in the dryer. It never really hangs right again. So if you want to do a polo shirt, do like, like the polished cotton. And by that, I mean you can actually feel a little bit of polish. Mm -hmm. Of course, it's man made, but it's the way to go, and it lasts much longer. Okay. Uh, when you look at your shirts, polo shirts, whatever shirt, always look at the peak of, of, of all the peaks off of the shirt, including the, the hems around the arms. All of that is really important because we can see it even though you think we can't. We see it. That's where the wear and tear is. That is, yes. Okay. All right, white shirts. White shirts. So if it started to yellow at all, it's time to get rid of it. And most men go, well, you can't see this, but that's just telling you it, the shirt's probably pretty old at this point. It's yellow in other places, too. That's right. And ladies, we know. We can see it. We can see it, right? <laughs> we can. And if it's see-through, you don't want it anyway. So. Okay. Sweaters. So we have a great sweater shaver. Get a sweater shaver if you don't already have one. Okay. They're very easy. And if you can't save a sweater by using it, then it's time to really just get rid of it. Like, this guy is just frumpy. It's old. It's misshapen. It's yeah. droopy. Yeah, it's time to get rid of it. And they'll say, well, there's nothing wrong. There's not a stain. But the pills are everywhere. It's time to it's time to go. Okay. Khaki pants. Yes. Okay. These are not only out of style. I mean, unless you really are putting a hammer in a pair of pants, then don't get a pair of pants that can hold a hammer. If you're not a painter, don't yeah, wear spader's pants, That's right? exactly right. Right. And then, of course, you just don't want, I mean, they marble. If you see anything like this in your closet, it's ill-fitting. If you kind of look like a balloon in, like a kind of a half balloon snow cone when you're wearing a pant, if it's, you know, going out at the at the waist or at, underneath the rear end, it's it's time to go. You need two legs. That doesn't mean you want guys to be wearing skinny pants necessarily. No, 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 but more like a straight leg. Okay. It can be a great boot cut. It just needs to fit well. And what about the pleats in the front? Ooh, it just depends. If you work in a really conservative bank, great. But pleats in the front need to be a little more flattened. They don't mm -hmm. have to be the old, like, billowy classic style. You can still do pleats, but you need to make sure, again, you can see both legs. Or just a flat front pant. Is even better. Okay. Yeah. Good. Jackets. So this jacket was from about 1985. And mm. you can tell, but they keep them because they go, well, they fit. So not only do you have the double-breasted, but, I mean, this and guy can And stains. And that you've got this pocket going on. And look at underneath the arm. You have the pills. This is not fixable. Get okay. a new, get a new jacket. Donate this to someone. Yes, that's <laughs> right. And then, of course, the last but not least, you have a special event outfit or a really nice suit that you actually spent money on. I got it at this tailor, and it costs this much money. And then you have the moths have eaten through. You've got the whiskering going on. You have something that's ill-fitting under here, or there's like a, a an opening underneath the armpit. Nobody can see it. Nobody can see it, but you can. So. If it has a stitch or a hem or something coming loose, get rid of it. Yeah, okay. And yeah. we're cleaning out the sock drawers, we're cleaning out the t-shirt drawers and everything else. Yes. You may need a little bit of help, but if you do, Mila Grigg can help <laughs> you. She's with me uh, with Moda Image and Brand Consulting. We're going to put all her information on our website. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's tough getting the guys to clean out, isn't it? Is, it? it is. It is.